we are now going to work on mixed operations. What happens if we have both a multiplication and a division in the same problem? So suppose we have x squared plus 2x minus 3 over x, 6x squared plus 5x plus 1. We divide that by 2x squared minus 2 over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. And we multiply that by 6x squared plus 4x minus 2 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. And so here are, is our problem. And the thing to remember is that this divide only applies to what immediately follows it. This is the only one that's upside down. This times says right side up, so he's fine. And this one comes first with nothing in front of it, so he's fine. Our second thing step is to factor. So we factor. Factors of minus 3 that add up to 2 are x minus 3 and x plus 1. Got that backwards. It's x plus 3 and x minus 1. Here we use synthetic factoring. 6 times 1 is 6. Factors of 6 add up to 5 are 2 and 3. Divide those both by our leading 6 and get 1 third and 1 half, which translates to 3x plus 1 and 2x plus 1. Now on the second case, when we factor this, we need to remember to divide. So what comes from the top goes to the bottom. First we pull out a 2 and get x squared minus 1. Oh, that's a difference of squares. We look at the bottom. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Factors of minus 6 add up to minus 5, or minus 6 and 1. Again, divide by that leading number, which in this case is a 2. Gives us an x minus 3 and a 2x plus 1. For our last one, notice that, first of all, 6, 4, and 2 all have a 2 that go into them. And at least 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Well, factors of minus 3 that up to 2 are 3 and minus 1. Divide those by 3, and we get 3x minus 1 and x plus 1. On bottom, we have the opposite. We have minus 3 that adds up to minus 2. And so that's going to be x plus 1 and x minus 3. So here we have everything factored out, and we left the 2 off of here. We need to make sure we put that back on. Now we have everything factored out, written in factored form, so we look for common factors. First one that jumps out at me is this 2 all by itself is on top and on bottom, so we're going to scratch him out. We also have an x minus 1 here and an x minus 1 here, an x plus 1 and an x plus 1, and an x minus 3 and an x minus 3, and this 2x plus 1 here and here. Notice as long as it's on top and on bottom, we can take it out. And so as we do that, we get as our final answer x plus 3 times 3x minus 1. And on bottom, we get 3x plus 1 and x plus 1. Notice that the 3x plus 1 and the 3x minus 1 don't divide out because they are not exactly the same. So as long as you, f you reverse the ones that you need to and factor everything, you can simplify these and multiply these just like any other multiplication or division problem.